Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. It's time to do another unboxing video and you know what I got. What the Low C Tenacity MT, 50 mile per hour capable monster truck. So this thing came out about a year ago along with the entire Tenacity line. So they have the Tenacity SCT, the short course truck they got the db which is a desert buggy they've got a truggy the t and then they also came up with this tenacity mt now if they sold for 400 dollars a year ago that was pretty much overpriced um considering you could get things like uh arma 6s capable typhon or something for you know just a little bit more than 400 i think more like 450 500 but um a little bit expensive and uh, so I was always kind of interested in this line because I've always kind of been interested in the 10 SCT line in general of which this is kind of based. Uh, but $400 is just way too expensive. Um, but they just recently dropped the price of this. $250. So yes, you can pick this thing up for $250 from pretty much everywhere, Horizon, Amazon, your local hobby store, etc. They should all be $250 everywhere you look. That is the minimum advertised price. Now, uh, we're gonna do an unboxing here. So as you can see, monster truck, four wheel drive, 10th scale, electric, RTR, comes with ABC, ready to run, everything except the battery and charger. On the back, let's look at what we've got. So, legendary 10 platform. 3800 kV motor, four pole, ABC, 130 amp ESC, uh, Spectrum DX2E radio. I've actually never owned one of these. I've used them, but never owned one. Uh, waterproof, 12 millimeter shocks. And the big one, metric hardware. 10 SCTE line has always been SAE or Imperial, which pretty much made it a no non-starter for me. Would never buy one um, unless they're a metric. And so that's one thing I was happy to see with the tenacity line. So we're gonna cut this thing open, show you what's inside. This is a big box. So I haven't opened this yet. Um, don't really know what it is. I believe this is the blue version. It comes in blue and red and white, which I wish I had gotten, but my local hobby store ordered me the wrong color, but that's okay. All right, let's get this box open. So that's what we got inside. You can see four double A's instruction manual and the truck itself so let's pull some of these things out looks like the truck uh, it is zip tied to stuff nothing else in there so we can toss that to the side before we unbox this let's just kind of let's see what else we got so here's the actual manual tools etc we're gonna cut that open, see what we got inside. Manual, uh, some little sales material, FPV stuff you can get. I have not tried that. Actual manual, tenacity MT, blah, blah. Uh, I believe it has a Hobby Wing ESC, so you can actually program it, cool. So as you had to drive a car, 130 amp ESC. Um, troubleshooting guide, stuff in other languages. So pretty minimal manual. There's a bunch of stuff in other languages and about two pages in English. A little parts diagram. Okay, fine. What else we got in the bag? DX2E, you can buy, I guess, a little speedometer and get an app for this radio. Extra parts, not really sure what these are. Oh, I think this is the FPV mount. And some super basic tools. Well, these are fancy copper colored, or bronze colored, titanium carbon nitride coated tools, hex tools. On Ta-da, nice little T-wrench, some more. What are these for? Little nail connectors for the motor, very odd. Never seen that before and I'm not sure. Oh, this must be the tool 
to get at the battery, which we will see in a second. Bind plug, boo. All right, now um, gonna have to bust out the clippers to get this thing off. So while I'm taking this thing apart, some additional comments on this truck. Uh, so a little bit of history for you. The, uh, the 10 line starts way back in, I think, 2011 with the 10T. It was a gas or nitro powered electric four wheel drive truggy 10th scale. Um, proved to be fairly popular. And then when the short course uh, truck craze took off, Losi came out with the 10 SCTE, of course. It was a Losi. Um, pretty much based off of the eighth scale platform. So very eighth scale like design. They, uh, that proved to be super popular that they actually came out with the TLR version, the 10 SETE 2.0. So that fell under the race banner. It was a build it yourself kit. And then they came out with the 3.0 later as well. Um, and then under the 10 SETE line, they basically came out with other variations. They came out with the 10 MT, a monster truck that came out with an SCBE, which is a short course buggy style, sort of desert buggy type thing. Um, and uh, the problem with that line was it was quite expensive. It was you know somewhere around $460, $480 for uh, 10 scale RTRs, which you know it was a bit expensive as compared to competition. So about a year ago, they decided, you know what, we gotta cut down the price on this thing. So they came up with the Tenacity line, which is obviously a reference to the 10 SCTE platform. These were made in China. Uh, they finally switched to metric, so they got rid of all the SAE Imperial stuff, uh, made it ready to run. Basically kind of cheapened it a bit to uh, get the price down. And so they started selling them for $3.99, which, you know, obviously cut the cost down, but it was still fairly expensive. So just recently, they finally cut the cost or the price of these things down to 350 except for this version which was 250 so um from what i hear oh, actually it's got velcro velcro and body clips it's like suspenders and belt okay uh so here's the body quite thin you know not super strong looks nice as well though but um probably will have to be replaced eventually as it gets beat up anyways the tenacity line came out um oh my esc is falling off you're gonna have to fix that We've got ec3 connector we'll have to change that as well to a ec5 uh, it's got bottom mounted battery tray uh, looks like my velcro popped off as well okay a little bit of quality control issues here what the heck is this actually where the esc mounts are you serious no it's got to go here right that's got to be the esc mount so i don't know what this little uh, little bit of sticker residue is there. Get rid of this um, zip tie. So this is the MT, the monster truck version. Um, as you can see, it's got the high center gravity chassis, all plastic, metrics, hex screws. That's nice to see. Uh, everything is plastic, steel drive shafts, um, no adjustable toe or camber, just solid plastic links, plastic shocks, of course. People say these pop off or break, uh, but I heard they did redesign the cap, so they're a little beefier. Not sure if that's true or not, we'll have to see. There are a couple weaknesses people have run into. One is the shock caps, at least on the original uh, run of these cars, they were quite fragile. Um, the other is this motor does tend to overheat. It is a 3,800 kV motor, which is fairly high RPM, especially for a big, heavy monster truck. You really want something more around 3,000 for 3S. Um, steel center drive shafts, as well as a center diff. So triple diffs, front, center, and rear. Nice to see. Uh, adjustable body posts. Kind of wimpy looking, I'll be honest. Uh, they do have that low C or TLR style uh, swivel mounts there. Nice to see. Uh, bumpers front and rear, they are different. Arms are different front and rear, although interestingly, I don't know why they have this extra mount here. I don't know if that's for a sway bar or what. Presumably a sway bar mount. 
uh, plastic hinge pins. Okay, definitely built on a budget there. Plastic hinge pin braces, A, B, C, D. Hmm. Just well, shock position is nice to see, top and bottom. Suspension actually uh, feels pretty decent. I mean, this it's not a super heavy truck, but it is quite big. It's definitely looks bigger than my granite. I have an armor granite. A um, lot of preload spacers on those shocks. I mean, there's like four preload spacers on the front. I mean, come on, man. Really? Okay. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, feels like there's fluid. It seems reasonably damped. Springs seem okay. A little soft in the front, but... Oh, that's what that is. The little on-off switch is supposed to be mounted right here. So that fell off. We'll have to re-servo tape that. Um, receiver box. Well, I forgot to open up my box of other stuff. So four double A's. This must be the radio. The box is quite bashed in. DX2E active, I believe. Don't see active anywhere. Um, takes four double A's. I'm not sure I'll actually run this radio. I have a DX5C, which I'll probably just bind and run that. But um, you know, actually one of the better uh, RTR radios. Although, except for this plastic steering wheel. Come on, you need some foam, man. And they're, these are just giant wheels, too. I don't know why the wheels on these things are so big. But um, decent radio. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much the uh, Tenacity MT 12 millimeter hexes, I think. Looks like 12 millimeter hexes, steel drive shafts, standard four millimeter nuts. Uh, tires actually feel, feel fairly decent. I don't know about this tread pattern, but um, they feel decent. Got foams, fairly large tires and wheels. They look bigger than regular uh, monster truck wheels and tires. Uh, the 130 ESC, which I believe is made by Hobbywing. It's got an integrated fan, nice to see. Aluminum motor plate, good to see. Um, yeah, a lot of people, I believe, actually gear this down to avoid some of the uh, overheating issues. So this little battery tray, I believe you need like a tool or something, or I guess you just use your thumb. Use your thumb to pop that thing open. Yeah, not a fan of that. I mean, not sure I'll even actually use that, but whatever. Um, quality control passed. I don't know who, who passed this thing. But anyways, yeah, so this is my very first Losi. Owned many TLRs. Um, you know, quite fond of the TLR line in general, but I've never owned an actual Losi brand. This is more their RTR, uh, you know, basher brand. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to, to driving it. Anyways, that's it for the unboxing. Please like, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the add notifications button, share with your friends, and look for more videos soon. I'm going to run this thing, test it, do some running videos, and a review. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Take care.